So Karen, what's involved in tree kangaroo rehabilitation? Wow, it's actually a lot of work. We end up going out every day and getting lots and lots of leaves. So because they're folivores, they eat lots of leaves. Rainforest leaves are far more complex and toxic than the grasses that land kangaroos eat. So how can they eat toxic leaves? Tree kangaroos survive because the toxic leaves are fermented by very small organisms in their stomachs called gut bacteria. This process takes a while, but it helps break down the poisons so the tree kangaroo can digest the leaves and transform them from dangerous to delicious. To be quite honest, they're very, very fussy. So you get them a rainforest species and they might go, no, not today. I don't feel like that. So some kids can be fussy too, just like tree kangaroos. Absolutely. And these guys have personalities just like teenagers. Well, toddlers really. Being a big kid at heart, I can certainly relate to these guys, whether they be toddlers or teenagers. They're a bit mischievous, need a lot of attention, but also have a lot of love to give. She wants to get on your shoulder now. I can see a lot of me in them, really. It's an unusual feeling. It feels as if the kangaroo is, oh, pulling my hair, uh, but balancing. Yeah, yeah. Is this normal? <laughs> and I got to witness firsthand their ability to walk on two legs. They look like furry little dinosaurs. Oh, it feels like she's going to fall, but she has remarkable balance. You don't get to do this every day. The tree kangaroo. Definitely a rainforest and tree survivor. Come on, put your back. Hey, there we go. Look at that. You little cutie.